I actually came into the field of wine not because my parents were wine drinkers, but because I was actually given a microscope uh, when I was 12 years old. And I heard about these things called yeast, and I wanted to look at what they looked like under a microscope. And they said, well, if you want to look at yeast, you have to start a fermentation. And so I picked some blackberries and fermented the wine and took a sample and brought out my microscope, and there they were, the little yeasts. And I've been having those yeasts work for me ever since. We actually have a dozen different vineyards. They're located in six different appellations within the state, so pretty diverse climate areas, some cooler, some warmer. And then within those different vineyards and appellations, we actually bring in 20 different varieties. It's fair to say that when you start working with a new variety, you really have to figure out how it grows in the vineyard and how it develops in the winery and how it actually even develops once it's in the bottle. I've been working with Brent Carter almost 30 years. It's, it's really interesting. And he actually buys these grapes here from me. My first vineyard I planted in 1980. And at that time, there was about 10 wineries in the state. Now there's something close to 800. So it's grown phenomenally. And it probably takes three to five years to understand the growing conditions of Washington. They're very unique. We're, we're growing in this dry, arid climate. These soils are unique. There's more sunlight here. It's a shorter growing period, but it's very intense. And Brian has the knowledge of how to handle those grapes in that type of condition. Brian's just a pioneer in industry. It's an honor to work with him, really, because he's done a lot of you know first in Washington, and we all learn from him. So the more contact I have with someone like Brian, it just makes what I do better, and I can pass that info on to other people. It's really my passion. I enjoy the process of making wine so much and really motivates me getting up in the morning. I love to have people come and tell me that they come to my tasting room and, and taste the wine and they love the wines and they all have their favorites, of course, but it's, it's very rewarding to be able to make something that people can take home and enjoy in their homes and put in their wine cellars and, and enjoy for years to come.